Hey, good evening everybody. I've been asked to set up a quick video of how to load a ride with GPS route onto your bike computer. Uh, this is going to be an extremely detailed video, but I'm gonna start with a very quick, fast version for experienced users. If that's not you, don't worry, it's super fast and I'm through it and then I'm gonna get back to a very nice, slow and extremely detailed version that absolutely anybody can do. If you feel lost at all, hang with me. I will go through all of the different versions of how to do this and get you to the point where you've got this hands down done. So long story short, for those people that are experienced, real quick, However you received the message, I would suggest that you go ahead and go into that message and, uh, or I should say the route, and just click on the route wherever you've got it. It should open it up into uh, Ride With GPS. Inside of Ride With GPS, one of the things I do is I'll export to GPX, which you just saw me doing there. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to my Garmin. Inside of my Garmin, I'm gonna select a road cycling. The road cycling is done there. It's pretty much that quick and easy. I'll save it inside. I like to make it a public uh, version. I never change the words if I don't have to. I've had too many times where for whatever reason, going from Ride With GPS to Garmin messes things up. So I just try and leave the name that they've made it, stay put. Hit done, it's gonna go ahead and save it to your courses. That should pretty much be about it from there. All you really should have to do, sorry, I'm moving that over just to get out of this glare. Uh, out from there, I'm gonna go ahead into my courses and I'm gonna take that ride with and just basically send it to my device. Uh, actually, send it to my device is that one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm already connected and it's ready to roll. That's pretty much it. One of the things I have found that I like to do, you don't absolutely have to do, but it makes it much easier. I actually just finished it for me there. I go back and I hit sync. I make sure that it goes bing, everything is in there and the download is complete. At that point, I can go into my navigation, I can go into my courses, I can go into my saved courses, and I just need to find, oh, look at that, Ride and Dine Picnic 20 mile from Omar. Isn't that beautiful? Hit ride and I'm on my way. That's it, done. Okay, now for the rest of everybody else who cannot follow with that, as I know really, really, really quick, what I'm gonna talk to you about is going to be some real simple things. I'm gonna to talk to you about, uh, oh yeah, that's real nice, nice and loud. Sorry about that, guys. I'm gonna to talk to you about um, how to take it from a message. You might have received it from a message and load that up. I'm gonna talk about how to do it from a hyperlink and I'm also gonna talk about how to find it online. No matter which way you're, you need to do, uh, whether it's you have the Ride With GPS app I'll show you how to do it from there. If you don't have the Ride With GPS app, I'll show you how to do it directly from online. All of these methods are going to be via the iPhone. I'm going to get the Wahoo, combine the two of these videos together, and give everything out with one simple QR code. All right, so let's go ahead. I just need to unlock my phone again. And we're gonna go ahead and talk slower through how did I go ahead and do the from a message. So I don't care if it's a text message, I don't care if somebody airdropped it to you, I don't care if it's from a WhatsApp, uh, all the message sites, whatever there is out there, you just need to find whatever that is. So in my case, um, Omar, which I'll talk about later, how to search these online, you can actually search them just by doing uh, Ride and Dine Omar that'll take you right to it. But in this case, uh, I got them direct from Omar. So real simple, he's got two different routes running. He's got a 20 mile route and a 33 mile route. So you select whichever one you want and when I click on these, it's going to automatically, because I have Ride With GPS it's going to, uh, as an app, it's going to automatically open it up into that app. If you don't, it's going to take you to a web page. I will show you in the third part of this video, how to do it from a web page. But again, real slow, once it's open in the app, on an iPhone, you're going to, going to hit the ellipsis, the three dots in the upper right-hand corner, and you're going to export as a GPX. That is something you wanna always remember. 
okay? As a, for instance, if you're trying to do things from a browser on an iPhone, Firefox and export as GPX is key. Always remember this, export GPX. So it's going to simply bring up for you where you want to send it. In the case that you do not have Garmin as one of these apps, you can come down in here and find more. This is typically where it'll be down in these apps down in the bottom. If for any reason it's not one of your nonstop favorites, all you had to do is hit edit right here and pick whichever one it was that the Garmin was. We'll just simulate the Garmin was right here at the Dropbox. You would simply hit the plus next to that and hit done and it would put Garmin Connect as one of your upper favorites. Once that's done, every time you go to open a GPX, Garmin's going to be right there. At that point, you'll click on Garmin. It's going to actually switch directly over to the Garmin app. Okay, at that point, depending on what type of ride you're doing, you're gonna to wanna to select that. The big difference here is road cycling is going to do things such as try and keep you going to intersections of roads no matter what it seems like the track is trying to do. If you pick something such as gravel unpaved cycling, it is going to allow you to take small paths. And conversely, mountain biking will pretty much predominantly not utilize uh, road paths whatsoever. In this case, it's obviously a road cycling, so we'll go ahead and choose that. At that point, it's going to show you all of the mile markers for this uh, 20, almost 21 mile route. Uh, and you can just simply hit save. If you go in and mess with the routing options or edit the waypoints, it is going to alter everything that you've got. I advise staying away from that when somebody else has edited this for you. Just simply hit save. Inside of the save, you've got a private and a public option. The reason why I typically hit the public option is so that when you are at a race with somebody else or a ride with somebody else, you might not know how to share that quick and easy from your device, but if you're near somebody like me, I do. And if you gave me permission, I would simply go into your device and share direct from your device to my device as long as it's set to, to uh, public. I seem to be able to do that without flaw. Now, mind you, some of these things that I'm telling you, like always stay with the GPX, uh, try and use Firefox, and stay away from saving as private, those are lessons I've learned over the course of doing this for a couple years. Uh, everybody likes iPhones and everybody likes Garmin, but I will tell you they are the most locked down products. I don't have a problem with that. I just know that to work with them, I stay with repetitive items that work every time. There are other options you can do, and yeah, it may work some of the time, most of the time, who knows? I know this method works every time. So I go to public, I do not change the words here. Sometimes somebody will name it, name it something huge and it'll get truncated to a specific amount of characters. That's fine, I let it do that. But when I used to try and name them exactly what I wanted to look up in my GPS, man, did it cause problems. It's probably been resolved, but just from habit, I don't bother changing it. So any which way, again, this is the Ride and Dine Picnic 20 mile route. I would hit done. It saves it into my courses. Now, I talked about this on the fast side earlier. This is what it looks like in your GPS there. But if you're to come back and go into all of your courses, the, play, the place to get to your courses on an everyday basis is, this is your homepage. You can go to courses right here. Now, I understand very well that some people may not have these same items uh, locked in their bottom. If you go ahead into more, this is the place where you can change what items you have and where you have them saved. So that's uh, that's something that I basically wanted to set up what my, my homepage was down at the bottom. I put courses inside of there, and obviously I can go direct to the ride and dine. All right, so that was from a message. How about from a hyperlink? 
So if it was going to be coming from a hyperlink, I know that I set this up for myself earlier. So let's go ahead and with a ride with GPS, telling me that it is offline. I am going to go ahead and I am going to copy the URL. With a URL copied, I'll just go ahead and send it to myself. All right, so this is what it would normally take a look like. Ah, I love that. The iPhone tries to take that hyperlink and instantaneously change it uh, into something that's right with GPS versus just give me a hyperlink. How about up here? That'll be unable to change. Okay, so if it was a hyperlink like this, one of the things that you could do is you could go ahead and select that hyperlink. If it was blue, you would just tap it and it would go to a browser. If it's not, you can copy it like you just saw me do there. You can go into any browser. Uh, this is uh, Chrome. You can use Chrome. I do prefer Firefox, um, but I have been testing out to make sure with doing this uh, for some other people tonight that uh, Chrome works. So inside of Chrome, I've gone to the Ride with GPS. Here is Omar. Again, even if I didn't have the link to it, I'm gonna show you how to get there. But inside Omar, you can see I've got uh, Warner Robins, Georgia Ride. Oh, and there we go. Here's the Ride and Dine 33 and the Ride and Dine 20. So as you can notice, it's his, one of his top two picks. They've been there as long as I've been looking at this and setting this video up for everybody. Uh, okay, so that's how you would get there from a hyperlink, but I didn't show you what you would do from there, so I am going to do that. You click on this, it's go going to open up this Ride and Dine. Now this is the part where I would prefer to have this over in, um, in Firefox. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this route, copy it, this is, I highly advise that you use Firefox for this. Uh, it consistently works every single time. So in Firefox, I'm gonna go ahead, paste and go, and it is going to go direct to that same exact route that we were just talking about, the Ride and Dine 33. Okay, so this is real simple. For the Ride and Dine 33, what we wanna do is we wanna download this off of a web page. So to download this off of the web page, hit the more, and we talked about export. We're gonna export as a file. If you remember what I talked about earlier, it's always going to be the GPX. Okay, so we've got a GPX track and a route. So go ahead and do the GPX route. Here comes the file, download now. So if you give that just a second, boom, it's gonna go right into your downloads. At this point, you can click on that file and it's gonna give you those same options we talked about before. Go ahead to Garmin, inside of Garmin, select your road cycle and hit save. Okay, now that's going to be in my courses. So if I go back here to courses, we can see here's the 220s and how about a ride and dine, ride and dine 33. Yeah, obviously I have a lot going on here. Let's take a look one more time. So Ride and Dine Picnic 20, Ride and Dine Picnic 20. Oh, did I just do the Ride and Dine 20 a second time? I didn't look uh, close enough. Let's go ahead, switch back over. It says it's a 33. So let's make sure where that is. What I might have to do is go over here. Nope, definitely not into there. And we are going to refresh my courses. So back to courses, there's the 33 with it's just a simple refresh. It's no big deal. Every once in a while, you, you know, it's like anything else. You just have to reload it. The internet might be slow, yada, yada, yada. So once I've got that uh, Ride and Dine 33, I wanna send that to my phone. I'm sorry, send that to my device. So send it to uh, whichever Garmin I'm going to use. And then at that point, it should be there. One of the last steps I personally like to do is go back to my homepage and go ahead and refresh everything. I can physically see it's actually pushing it to my device there now. So once that's physically all the way done, it takes just a potato. <laughs> 
Maybe it'll take more than a potato this time. Can you tell I'm Irish? I don't know. Lovely. So let's do ourselves a favor. Let's go back to navigation. Inside of navigation, we're gonna go to courses. Inside of courses, we're gonna go to saved courses. And inside of saved courses, I'm going to scroll. Saved courses, Ride and Dine 33. So now I've got both the Ride and Dine 33 and the Ride and Dine Picnic 20. Okay, now this should be the last thing that you possibly have to do. If you do not have somebody sending you something and you do not like using it from a hyperlink, if you maybe have distrust for it, I'm going to start by telling you those hyperlinks, I'm going to post them in the bottom of this video. So if you go down into the details of this video, the hyperlinks will be right there for you. Both routes, and you can pick and choose whichever one you want, right from there, follow my same directions, and it'll take you right to how to do it. But let's suppose you don't like doing that. If you don't, no big deal. Go ahead, open up your favorite browser, and then search. This should be very simple. Ride and dine. Omar. You can see it was auto-populating it. That's because I've searched it before. So literally, Ride and Dine Omar. If you search that, it is going to take you to Omar's homepage on Ride with GPS. If you open that up and then go to his routes, there they are. That quick, that simple. Follow the rest of the same directions that I gave you before. Uh, and you're good to go. You can hit download, you can open it up, go open it up to the actual site, hit the three ellipses, export as a GPX, it is loading that, go to Garmin, once you've gone to Garmin, tell it that's a road cycle, then hit save and it's in your courses. Really, that simple. If anybody's got any questions whatsoever, I will monitor this. No questions asked. You go ahead, and you send a message or post me a question in, in this video, I will get a hold of you, especially if you give me any way. If you're somebody that I know from the group in Georgia, I will get a hold of you directly and I have zero problem with helping you get this onto your device. Last but not least is going to be a Wahoo. I'm going to go ahead and try and load a Wahoo video up against this and go through that. Uh, I may have to talk over it uh, in a minute. All right. Thanks, hope everybody has a great night. And just in case there was any question whatsoever, there are definitely some yellow crocs going on here.